Hey Simleys, it's Delia Garcia here with a room build. I've had a bit of fun with room builds this week. I did a room build uh, a couple of days ago and now I'm doing another one. And in this one, we are going to be building a classroom, which I'm excited about because as a lot of you guys know, the new mod uh, get to school or go to school mod came out, which was very, very cool. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of thinking a classroom would be fitting. So then if you are using that mod, maybe you could add this classroom to a school you've built or something like that. Uh, but anyways, I have to give a shout out to I'm Brayden's Nipple 60, Devin's lover on Twitter, because this was your idea. I was asking on Twitter, someone tell me a cool room build to do that's a bit different. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. This is a fun idea. This is something I haven't done before. So classroom, let's get going. Let's start sketching it out. Um, so it's a room build, so it's got to be one room. Uh, so I guess what we'd have is probably, I want to have like a blackboard at the front of the classroom. I know a lot of classrooms now, like when I was in school, we had whiteboards and blackboards, but I know a lot of classrooms now have like interactive blackboards and stuff, but I think I'd rather go with the old school blackboard slash whiteboard kind of thing. We might put some shelves here. We might have little computer desk area over here. And let's say this is for a primary school. This is a primary school classroom. Um, maybe over here we can have some arts, arts and crafts stuff. And we have tables there. We make this much bigger. Uh, do we want it any bigger is the question. Could probably just have something down that end. I don't know what that is, but we will figure it out when we get to it. Or when we feel like something appropriate will be put there. So, uh, actually, you know what? This can be the door to the classroom. So I would like to have double doors. This is going to be a kind of contemporary classroom. Uh, I, I do like these ones, so we might go with that. And then we need some lighting or some windows. So I think we shall put in, what are these? They look like jail cells. <laughs> this school is a jail. No, we don't want that. Uh, Hmm, something like this. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Just took me a little while to get there, but we have the selected school windows. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so we've got those. Uh, we could, no, it's not gonna be there. It's going to be quite a sunny schoolroom for, this, compared to the schoolrooms I was in, uh, this is very bright and sunny. And we'll get some lights in here. Let's go lighting. Uh, we could put these fun ones in because it's like it looks like the solar system. If we hung the mobile, baby mobile hanger thing, baby genius mobile, it could look like a solar system. <laughs> kind of not really. It doesn't look like one at all, but that's what it reminded me of. Okay. Let's see, light, lights, lights, lights. Um, oh, they're so not centered, are they? Nope. But we will center them. And we should put them over the bookshelves here and here. Oh, this is like the solar system. How big is that when it's sized up? Oh, that's so cute. We're definitely having these around the room. Because I remember my classrooms had lots of hanging things. We'll put it just there for now. Uh, in terms of wall color, we'll go with a nice, mm, a nice, could go a light brown. Yes, a nice, simple light brown. And then what do you have in school rooms? Usually like a carpet type deal but a really ugly carpet or I don't know what do you usually have in school room what what is this can't find anything on this floor it looks like a hard carpet or I don't actually mind this I don't I don't really know what it is but I don't mind it for the classroom so we're gonna go with it now question blackboards or whiteboards like do we have whiteboards in this Okay, what happens if we grab this, size it up to a blackboard-ish size, and f try and flip it around? 
Because that's all black. Hmm. Maybe if we delete the wall and then try and put it in again. Lift it up. I mean, it's not too bad. At least it's something on the wall, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna leave it there. And uh, I'm liking that we have lockers. That's cool. We used to have tubs when I was in primary school. So little tubs with your name on it. And they were kind of cute. Okay, and then the shelving can be over there. Uh, these are just like extra bits and bobs that we could potentially use around for decorations. But let's put the teacher's desk at the front of the classroom. And I love teaching themed things because I, when I was little, little, like with my Barbies, with my Beanie Kids, I used to always play like schools and teachers and that was my favorite thing. Um, so the teacher can have like a matching table to the class. If you hold down shift, you can multiply whatever object you're actually placing. So you can put in a few of those. And if we look up debug, not sure if I just hit my mic then, apologies if it made a gonk sound. We could put in uh, just books on their tables, I think. Oh, maybe not a whole stack of books. <laughs> there we go. And then the teacher can have the big class book at the front, maybe with this little one too. And then they can have a little pencil pot on each table. So the classroom is looking really bland right now, but we're going to make it more exciting and more lived in in a second. Uh, but we will put computers over here, maybe just like a small computer area, of course. I mean, you'd think there'd be other parts of the school where you'd go have your art classes or, you know, whatever classes. Um, you want to go to. Okay, so this is where the computer's going to be. We could have really new computers, which would, which would be really nice. And maybe those ones can have the cute little, the little, little chairs. Where are the little, little chairs? These are the little, little chairs. I love these. These are so cute. We can make one orange. What else can we put on these tables next to them? Because they don't really need lamps. You wouldn't have a lamp, really. You could have some folders. I guess just books make sense, right? Just books. Because you're here to learn. You're here to learn, kitties. And then we could put... Maybe a random car. <laughs> I don't know. I could do with some curtains in here though. So let's put up some nice blue ones. This will make the room look a bit nicer. So if they have like presentation time or story time, they can make the room a little bit more darker. Then we could have a feature wall. We could paint these inner bits a fun orange color maybe. I'm feeling the brown is just like too brown. I know I always go for white though. This is the problem. I think that's too white. So we'll stick with the brown color. I mean, I want this to be realistic, okay? This is a realistic classroom. All right, so we've got fun computer areas here. Uh, we could put some nice mats in. Like, depending what age group this is, there could be, like, really cool little mats. Dinosaur mats are so awesome. Love them. Loving them. I'm sorry, we have to go with these. <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess it's starting to look, look like a kid's bedroom. What about, where's the, this is what I was thinking of. Oh, they're too big. This is kind of cool though. Yeah, we'll put that mat in there. I like that. 
Um, and then on the other side, this can be the arts and crafts area. So we'll put some crafty things in there. What's that? That's fun. Oh my gosh, I love that. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, okay, so we need to put... Oh, we should have an area where there's like frogs and stuff. Because my... I, I just got so excited. Because um, we used to always have pets in our primary school classroom. It was like the highlight of my primary schooling. So we have to put in pets and stuff. Oh, what's this? This is nice. Keep me clean metal table. That's handy. This looks like something you would have in primary schools. Uh, is, where are the canvases? Stack of canvases and clutter. Here we go. I wanted to put these somewhere. If we got rid of one of these, we could kind of fit them in the corner over here. Maybe adjust this slightly to the side. It's really weird. I could have just a box of things sitting on there. Just lift this up slightly. Okay. Cool. Well, that's a nice little area for kids' stuff in any case. And uh, also on the teacher's front desk, we should probably have a manila folder because that's like what they've got all of the um, good stuff to learn in. Let's see what things we can put onto the wall here. Hmm, learning posters. What is this rock? <laughs> Children, what is this rock? Does it belong to a dinosaur or a leaf? What environment does it come from? Those don't look very kid friendly. Could put these on the wall. There was something to do with eyesight that came with get to work. Oh, we could put up fitness posters. Because fitness is really important. We could have these as well on the other side. Yeah, that's okay. What we do need is bookshelves. That is a massive thing that we need to have. Uh, services, plumbing, activity, skills, storage. It took a really long time for me to find that. Bookshelves and more bookshelves. Just there, we might get rid of one row of lockers. Do you reckon? Hmm, they're not the best color options. I feel like that's really the only appropriate bookshelf for this area though, unless we went with this, but then it has like a clock on it and it looks really homely. What is this one? It's not such a bad idea, but how much does that clip through the walls? A little bit on the other side. I think we're best with the ones we've picked out. We should have school bags too. Next to the tables as if, uh, as if kids could, had kind of left their school bags under the tables. Let's put a couple at the front door as well. Of course the rebel kid wouldn't bother putting theirs in a locker. That and maybe oh we can put these on the these awards on the board for like best kid of the week. We can have some oh maybe we could even put them on the blackboard if we're clever enough. Yeah, we're not clever enough. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not. Put these around the place though still. And like that. Awesome. Maybe there could be a boat of some kind. We are learning about boats, maybe not. We have this here. Mm, that's way too big. Let's 
see. Is gardening stuff? No, I don't really. Uh, we'll go back to toys. Kids. Kids era should have some kids stuff in it, right? Okay, well, this is handy. This is very handy. Uh, let's put it over on this wall. And then we could have some sports stuff under there. It's not a very neat classroom. Oh my gosh, lunch boxes. Cute as. This person just has their lunch on top of their books instead. Hmm. A learning gnome. Awesome. He's like, we're here to learn. <laughs> okay, the solar system can go above the classroom like that. And I think we're almost done. We just need something in this corner. Lovely, lovely. And above the doorway, there should be some kind of like slogan across there or something written on the wall. This looks like it could be sciencey, So we're going to pop a couple of them there. Um, oh, and space poster. Space posters are cool. I mean, it could. this could be the school plaque that goes above the door. So that's above the doorway. Anyway, guys, I will leave this right here, I think. Anyways, that's a school room. Um, let me know what room build you want to see next, but I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.